Hey, this is D-Rock uh, from D-Rock Boxing and I'm um, recording my first video here. So today I'm going to talk about Anthony Joshua comparisons with Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker. So the three heavyweight champions, we're going to discuss them. So we'll start off with Joseph Parker. Seeing as I'm a Kiwi, that's my guy. So I'm going to talk about him. All right. He's six foot four, came in last way in about... 245 pounds and he's got speed his hand speed combinations he's quick he's 25 years old uh, his reach is not that good it's 76 inches which is not as good as the other heavyweight champions um, he has power but I would say compared with the other two champions his power is slightly less but compared with the other champions I would say he has the best chin so he's able to take a punch to the head and not go down or not get knocked out but you know Anthony Joshua we've seen him against Klitschko he went down Deontay Wilder he's gone down before this is all stuff you can see on YouTube so Joseph Parker has the WBO belt He's held that. He's defended it twice against Rasvan Kajani was the first one. He's just defended against Huey Fury. So he's got the name Fury on his record. Uh, he won it off Andy Ruiz over here in Auckland, New Zealand. That's my hometown. And people around the world, you, they don't really rate him very high. But, you know, he's only a young champ and he'll grow into his manpower. He's only 25 years old. All right, next person I'm going to talk about, we'll go to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, and he's 27 years old, six foot six, uh, also weighing in about 245 pounds. Uh, he's built like a bodybuilder, um, Olympic gold medalist, and I think it was 2012 in the London Games, and he's essentially the cash cow, what they call a cash cow. So he's the guy everybody wants to fight because. He draws, he puts bums on seats. He gets, he gets the money, right? And uh, he has the IBF belt, which he won off Charles Martin. He has the WBA belt, which he won off Klitschko, and also the IBO belt, but it's not one of the uh, the top four sanctioning bodies. But um, he's got that belt. Uh, his speed is probably not as fast as Joseph Parker. His power, he has a lot of power. The chin, um, we've seen him get knocked down. We haven't seen him get knocked out. So he's got a relatively solid chin. I'll say it's solid. Um, technically, he's quite good. He's relatively good. Uh, but there's room to improve there. Um, He's, his record is, uh, I think it's 19 and 19 KOs. He's knocked everybody out that he's come across. So he's, he's quite a uh, fearsome guy. And I, and I like Anthony Joshua. He's um, a very decent person. So now we're going to talk about Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder. He's an American WBC champion, 6 foot 7. And he comes in about 225 pounds. So he's a bit lighter than the other two champs by about 20 pounds, roughly. But he is the tallest of the champions. He has uh, the longest reach of the champions. And in my opinion, he hits the hardest out of all the champions. His record is 38 fights, 37 KOs. And Bermain Stavern was the only one to go the distance with him. He's got a rematch coming up, or supposed to be, well, it's a rematch with Bermain Stavern again, but it was supposed to be against Luis Ortiz, but he yeah, got a bit of a stuff around. So that's his mandatory, he's got to clear up. Joseph Parker cleared up his mandatory with Huey Fury, and uh, Anthony Joshua's got his mandatory with Kubrat Pulev coming up. So they're all kind of busy, or J Joseph Parker's just got out of his one, so he's kind of available for voluntaries. Um, Deontay Wilder, although he has such a great record of 38 fights, 37 knockouts, like that just sounds absolutely uh, vicious, you'll find that 
the people that he's fought against are B-level at best compared with uh, Anthony Joshua, who's fought the likes of Klitschko, and he's going to face Kubrat Pulev. And, you know, he, he he's looking for a test. Even Joseph Parker, he's fought uh, Carlos de Calm, uh won the bout of Andy Ruiz Jr., undefeated 29-0 at the time, and just defeated Huey Fury. I mean, who else has beaten a Fury? You tell me. And so those are the three champions. And, you know, people try to say, oh, Jason Park, he's probably the weakest of the champions. And then they kind of debate about AJ and Wilder and who's going to win and this type of stuff. Uh, in my opinion, you you can't really rate Joseph Parker as the weakest on what you've seen. you got to wait for these guys to get into the ring because I really do think that Joseph Parker has a 50-50 chance against either of these two. So, you know, they better look out because he might take those bouts off them and put a loss on their record. But that's just my opinion. I'm a Kiwi, so, you know, I'm I'm probably biased in, in, a, in, a, bit, in a bit of a way, you know, so whatever. Um... But yeah, this is my channel. If you like my channel, if you like my uh, videos, um, push the like button, subscribe, and I'll hit you guys up later. See you.